Good morning. It is Sunday, so that means football, I guess. If you are in a pretty household or in, I guess, lands in other households around the US, which is, you know, cool. Not really my thing, but I'm a supportive wife. And therefore, that is why I'm here today presenting to you a pretty cool recipe, a pretty cool dessert. Um, and I think at least everybody has tried once, and if not, then we're really missing out because it is the perfect dessert combination. Today we are making brookies. And yeah, so if you don't know what a brookie is, it's like part brownie, part cookie. 100% deliciousness and I'm really excited because I've not made them before but I am a bit of a connoisseur and I love eating them they're so good um, and yeah they're pretty straightforward but I figured I would demonstrate for you all because it's been a while since I've made a video but you know we all need a little bit of a break every now and then so without further ado let's get started Okay, so we are making the brownie part of our brookies first, so it's going to be on our base. And in this pan here, I have one cup of butter that I melted with two and a quarter cups of sugar, granular white sugar. And I know it seems like a lot, but these are really rich, dense fudgy brownies, so you need all of that that you can get. So I'm just going to transfer it from the saucepan into this bowl. Okay, so to this, our yummy little sugar mixture, we're going to add in two, no we're not, no we're not. <laughs> we're going to add in one and a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. We need four eggs. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of instant coffee. This is optional, you can absolutely leave it out. The coffee and chocolate really elevate each other. And it just has another depth of richness. You could also use espresso powder if you have that, but I don't, so instant coffee it is. And we need one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I know it seems like a lot, but I said these are rich, decadent, fudgy. I have a whisk, but you could absolutely use a hand mixer, a stand mixer if you want to. I just don't like lugging all Betty out here. So so that is all combined deliciously, nice and smooth. So to this, we're going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I also have two cups of assorted chocolate chips, chocolate chunks, because I didn't have enough of one or the other. So I just combine the two, I just add these in with our flour. And I'm using a rubber spatula to mix this all by hand, just so I can control the consistency and how well it's mixed without over mixing it. There we are, it's all mixed together, smells delicious. I have a 13 by nine inch pan here. This is non-stick, so I am not coating it. But if you don't have a non-stick pan, you need a 13 by nine baking dish, and then you're going to coat it with a non-stick cooking spray or butter and flour, whatever you feel comfortable doing. We're just going to pour this brownie mixture into our pan. Spread this out. So we're going to set this aside and now we're going to start the cookie part. So I have half a cup of melted butter with some stick to microwave. I'll stick to bowl to microwave. <laughs> um, and it's melted. So we're going to put this in a medium sized bowl and again with this you can use a hand mixer, stand mixer and I'm mixing by hand just to control how thoroughly everything is mixed together. We don't want to over mix anything. We don't want a tough cookie, a tough brownie. 
just ruins everybody's day. So to our stick of butter, we are going to add, to our stick of butter, we're going to add half a cup of brown sugar. We need a quarter cup of white sugar. One large egg. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk this together, or use your mixer. There you go. So to our wet mixture, we're going to add one and two thirds cup of all-purpose flour. We need one teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. Fold this together. So there is our cookie dough mixture. We're going to add one cup of semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. brownie mixture back over here. So now I have a large cookie scoop. I'm going to scoop chunks of dough and just disperse them on the brownie mixture. Have a, a regular old kitchen knife here and nothing special about it. Um, I'm going to use this and we're just going to just drag the cookie dough, swirl it, through our brownie mixture. The cookie dough is pretty thick, so work with what you got. It's voila, there it is. This is going in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes until a cake tester, toothpick, knife, whatever have you, comes out um, just about clean. We don't want to overcook the brownies, so they might just have like a little moist crumb on them, which is A-O. I will show you the end result in a minute. Okay, so here are the brookies. They look and smell delicious. I'm super excited to tuck in and try one. I do want to include that it took probably closer to 50 minutes to get this baked completely because every time I tested it, it was just so, so wet, the brownie mixture. Um, so I just, you know, you just gotta know your oven play around with your cooking time, but I'm excited. There's cookie brownie. Oh, heaven. Mm. Tasty. chocolatey just coats everything in your mouth makes it taste just chef's kiss <laughs> so excited for jake and his few friends to try these and sing my praises because i just love it when they do that <laughs> thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and until next time